First time teaching at the Earth Fair. Um, so, intro to me a little bit. <laughs> the Nagel chart and the different fundamental building blocks that con constituted the elements, the modes, the houses, the signs, the aspects. Sounds like a lot of things. They're actually really simple when you're learning about them in a fundamental way. Uh, some people are more familiar with Ayurveda. Some people are more familiar with the uh, humors and the temperaments. And these actually correlate really well with different parts of astrology. Um, so they're not, they're not like different. So if that's part of your backgrounds, that's going to be really useful for you here. That which is below corresponds to that which is above, and that which is above <coughs> corresponds to that which is below, to accomplish the miracle of the one thing. This is actually the full quote that most people are familiar with, as above, so below. Um, and this comes from Hermes Trismegistus in the Emerald Tablet. So what does the tool of an astrologer look like? Um, this. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. The first time I saw one of these, I was like, what the hell is that? How am I ever going to be able to make sense of this? Um, it just looked completely inaccessible and unapproachable to me when I started. Um, and we're going to demystify this for you guys today. This, for me, working with herbs and astrology, this is the most important uh, relationship for me. This is what I is most reliable, it's most accessible in terms of planning when I'm working. A lot of people are probably also familiar either from Jim's teachings or other energetic architectures of this layout. Um, hot and cold, dry and damp. And so put it all together. <laughs> is this less scary now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Flight. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Nourishing. Nourishing. Moistening. Moistening. Okay. So nourishing, moistening, tonic, um, milky oats. We have the white latex. This is all corresponding to moon energy. In tropical Western astrology, are based on the equinoxes and the solstices and the energy of the seasons. It's not actually based on the constellations. The moon is in Aquarius. So first of all, they're in the same element. So there's the harmonious trine aspect. The moon is at 16 degrees Aquarius, and Venus is at 17 degrees Libra. So here is a chart of a client that I recently worked with. So we have Leo rising. Other resources, um, the astrology podcast with Chris Brennan is amazing. Astrology relates on all levels of our being, uh, spiritual, psychological, and physical. That's like, wow, right? Thank you guys so much.